Hello, I'm Simon Buck, and welcome to my business tip series. So today I'm going to talk to you about something called the point of power. It's a point in which we decide how we're going to play our day. So some people come in in the morning and they decide to play above the point of power, and some people come in in the morning and they decide to play below the point of power. And it's a choice, but it's a choice that's often born out of the fact that where's their purpose? What's their part to play? Do we allow people to play below the point or above the point? So I often find businesses that don't have enough structure. They don't have enough um, accountability, enough ownership of numbers, etc. that truly the role and the responsibility in the business is not clearly defined enough. And the more that it's defined, the more that it starts to move away from this model. So let me just take you through it. So some people make a decision to blame others. Um, I didn't know. It wasn't my fault. Um, somebody else was supposed to do it. You know, it's very, very easy sometimes to play the blame game. And you see a, a blame culture that exists in certain businesses. When things aren't identified and allowed um, to, be, to be brought out into the open, to be openly discussed, to learn from something, then again, people start to play below the point of power. So the first one is blame. Then it moves towards kind of excuses. You know, there are every reason under the sun why something hasn't been done by the time that it was supposed to have been done. Now, you can blame all sorts of other people, you can come up with the excuses for where the economy's at, or you can decide to take some ownership for it. So people are naturally slipping back down below the point of power. And the scariest one of all is when people don't even know they're there. So at the very, very bottom of all this exists denial. Um, I've met many people, I suppose, who've uh, tried to blame other people for things, but sometimes they're so unaware of the impact that they're having, they're absolutely living in denial. So the other great place to play, the place that we would all love to be all of the time, I suppose, is playing above the point of power. And when we have the above the point of power, well, fantastic. Yeah, if it is to be, then it's down to me. So I can be responsible for something. It might not be my job, but I can have a responsibility for it. Yeah, that's a culture, I suppose, where we would all answer the phone, where we'd look after each other, where we would take the ownership for our clients, etc. That's a responsibility that we could potentially have. However, you can shift up a level, and responsibility becomes accountability when you're the person that has to report on it. You're the person that truly owns that particular number. Now, you can be accountable for something within a business, and then you start to really move in and see the true colours, I suppose, of somebody's potential. And at the very, very top, we have ownership. Now, that can be ownership from a business owner's perspective. It could be ownership from an employee's perspective. If people understand their part to play and they know what it is that they can add and contribute, and there is true transparency within a business, it allows people to play above the point of power. If you live in a culture of fear, if you live in a culture where you're trying to hide things, it's very, very easy for people to play below the point of power. So ask yourself the question, do you have the accountability? Do you have the ownership? Do you have the numbers? Have you given the roles and responsibilities to people so that they know where to play? Or do you allow this to happen? And do you allow it to fester? Does one person allow to get away with murder where everybody else doesn't? What does it look like? What are we saying to our teams when we allow this kind of behaviour to exist? Have a good hard look at your business. Have a good hard look at your team. Then turn the rear around and have a really good hard look at yourself. The point of power is a fascinating way to understand what's going on in your business. Thanks very much.